the beginning is always rooted in the end, and the end is always rooted in the beginning. That's a very famous Kabbalistic phrase, Na'ut Sofan Betchilatan. If a person was to come without any knowledge whatsoever of Jewish sources and say, I'd like to learn Jewish mysticism, I'd like to learn Kabbalah, I'm certainly one of those teachers that encourages that. I would encourage say, someone to pursue that as their goal. Every journey in Kabbalah is a private journey to an extent. It's one's, not a private journey as much as a personal journey. I would say to that person to start with Aleph Bet, to learn Aleph Bet. But th what they will find after 40 years of study is that they will find that they are contemplating and meditating upon Aleph Bet. Of course, most people who come to Kabbalah can already read the Hebrew letters. So they're looking for techniques beyond that. Most of the techniques that I would recommend if you were going to go into Kabbalistic techniques, and I did just answer the previous question by saying that I don't think we have any more powerful Kabbalistic techniques than the mitzvot themselves. And understanding why we're doing them is what we're searching for in Kabbalah. The ta'ame mitzvot dimension of that performative aspect. But if I was asked about Kabbalistic techniques, then most of what I would suggest to people would be involved in tefillah. I do not translate tefillah as prayer. I translate tefillah as tefillah. Because the word prayer is only ever an inadequate approximation of the meaning of the word tefillah. 